Okay, quick papering video for you. I'm going to show you how to paper around a socket. Basically, it doesn't matter what type of socket you come across, the method is generally the same. Now, when you paper in a room, you're either going to end up with a full length that covers your socket, or you're going to end up with your length just over, sometimes in the centre. So what I'll do is I'll show you both ways. So when it comes to doing sockets in a room, what you need to make sure you've done before you start the papering on your preparation, you've gone round and you've checked every socket, you've unloose, you know, you've unscrewed it. Make sure it comes off the wall nicely. So you're gonna have no problems when you come up to it. Now one important thing you've got to do is make sure the edge around is nice so your paper is going to have no problem going down the back. You never want to stuff anything too far down the back but also always make sure your electrics turned off. So once you've checked it, blow underneath and make sure you've got no dust inside. There's nothing worse than putting your paper on and you do this bottom edge and you get a load of muck dropping out into your paper. It's a nightmare to sort out. So once you've done that, make sure it's screwed back without damaging the socket. I always like to hold near the end of the screwdriver and just so it stays on the screw and you don't damage the socket. Especially some of these sockets these days, the shiny chrome. Right, first length I'll show you over the full socket. I've plumbed a line down there. So just take the paper which has been soaked for the recommended length of time. Straight on your plumb line. Always follow your plumb line down first and then your paper hanging brush spread out from the line. Now just go straight over the socket. Just release that a little bit at the bottom. Now once you're satisfied with your line, depending on what type of paper you're using, you may have to put a couple of marks just before where the corners are so you know with a pencil so you know exactly where the corner is not over just before and sometimes you can also just go like in the corners and press and it leaves the impressions of the corners which that's what i'll use on this paper because it shows up nicely now once you've done that Taking your scissors when you've got them. Won't be a second. Release your paper from the wall a little bit, and in the centre, pop a little hole, making sure you don't go through and hit the socket because you'll scratch it. You never want to scratch the socket, so don't be cutting across these with uh, razor blades, you know, Stanley blades or anything like that. And then from that centre piece, work up to the corner. Now, what I find is if you don't snip slightly over each corner, when you come to push the paper around, it can rip and tear them corners. So just a couple of millimetres over, you know, maybe five. Because if, if it's a very neat cut and you won't see it, the paper will shut together. And once you've done that, taking your paper hanging brush, making sure you're on your plumb line first. And slowly spread that paper around the socket, making sure you've got no bubbles. Ah, 
Right. Now, once you're at that stage, sometimes, again, you can take a pencil and finger behind your pencil and just mark across the top of the socket, giving yourself at least a centimetre of paper. And you can trim them pieces off. I mean, sometimes when you get really good at it, you know what you're doing and you don't need the pencil lines at all. And then damp cloth, wipe the paste off that centre bit there. And then releasing your socket. Again, make sure you've got enough play. And the trick is to start slowly easing that paper behind the socket. Now, some papers are better than others and easier to work with. And what I tend to do is I'll grab one bit with my finger. Oops, slips back in. So I'll pull it out. And then you can slowly take your time and get one piece down the back. Sometimes you can just use your brush and just tap them in. Um, and then if that's not working too well, you can use the end of the screwdriver. And very slowly just push the paper in. Never shove anything down the back. Always try to work on the edge. Just release that a bit more. You can sometimes release them fully, but it can be a nightmare trying to get um, a screws back in. This isn't going too well. Ooh. out under that screen here. But again it's about just taking your time and not forcing anything. Forcing is the worst thing you can do. Because as soon as you make a mistake that piece of paper is coming off the wall and uh, you're gonna have to put another piece on. So there you go. Then, Wipe any paste off. Screw your socket back. Now, making sure it's nice and lined up straight. There's nothing worse than a socket that is uh, skewy. And once you get one in straight, the other one is just Have it. Of paper around a socket. I'll show you the middle one now. The reason I'm going to show you both is depending on how long between lengths you are. If each length is saying soaking for 10 minutes and you might not be coming back to put the next one on for another 10 minutes, you want to cut the paper off the other side because paste can dry fast and it can make it more awkward. So what I do, I'll put one side on, cut it, unscrew the socket, fit it back, sorry, fit the paper in, screw the socket back because when you put your next piece on, you don't want your socket floating about. Otherwise, it's going to, um, you're not going to get the correct cut. So make sure you screw the socket back for the next piece. So, quick demo, no talking or anything like this now. Just 
Okay, it's all about following your plumb line. That's it, no talking. I might be able to see how I did it on that side. Actually, we did the screwdrivers on the paper, slide it to the edge and just let it go around. You're actually not touching the paper in the wall. Just lightly, lightly screw this back now. Really, you only have to do one side. But just make sure it's nice and straight, and then it's on with your next piece. Once you're satisfied with the matching up, allow that to come over. Again, find the corners. Okay. Sorry about that, I dropped the camera, knocked it off. Because I only tightened one side, so I'm just coming off. Yep. Again, just not touching the socket, touching the paper itself. Um, uh, you're actually touching the paper that's on the wall. You took always you're pushing the paper that is going behind.
Some papers are better than others for heights and joints. Um, but you do have to sometimes manipulate them into place. Change my bolts. Feed off. 